Well, hello there. We're back out fishing. Yes, I'm at the same mark again, but there's reason for that and I'll tell you in a bit. So, welcome to Vern Sea Fishing. Um, yeah, it's been 30 days, 30 days since I last went fishing. <clears throat> um, last trip, which was the last video up, was the 5th of um, December, and today it's the 5th of January. So, it's, uh, yeah, it's been one of them things, really. It's, uh, I was busy on the house. I had to get that done. I couldn't think of anything else. Got that finished. The wife helped me. Thank you very much, wife. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, and then it's Christmas. And for the whole of Christmas, from Christmas Day till about the 30th of December, um, I was dizzy. Every morning I woke up, I was dizzy. Um, clear, and then I went dizzy again. And, uh, God knows what was the matter with me. Perhaps I'm ready for popping me clogs, I don't know. But don't worry about that. If I pop my clogs, it'll be on YouTube. Shan't leave you in the uh, lurch and you don't know that I've pegged it, so that'll be done. But yeah, it's, um, yeah, what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> I've just got a sore throat and, uh, you know, the garbage that comes with it on your throat. So yeah, but hopefully that'll get better. I'm gargling lemon juice. But yeah, anyhow, that's that. I don't really know what to say, really, because um, I'll tell you as the video goes on. But yeah, we're back here again. The reason I've come here is it's probably closer than at Stallingborough. And for me, for me, and uh, as you can see, there's no one here. I haven't got to fight my way. And last video, my best cod catching session that I've ever had. Four cod in that. So it's been eating away at me that I haven't come here. I should have kept coming during December, but I just couldn't. Work comes first with me. And uh, sometimes I just have to write everything off um, to get that work done. Because to do a house up ready for rent, it's not just go in and splash and dash and out you go and it looks a tip. It's got to look right. So uh, there's lots of things to do. I do everything apart from electrics and plumbing. Um, and cutting edges now, I don't do that anymore either. So yeah, so I had to get that done, so we've left it, I've left it. We caught them four coddling and uh, I never come again. So it's been 30 days, 30 days. I don't want it to end. It's just been absolutely fantastic catching cod. Um, the videos are done really well for me really really well it's absolutely fantastic you have to watch because a bit of dog muck about which is a bit annoying but um yeah it's just been absolutely great and uh it would have been nice to get a couple more in while the fish were still here i don't know if the fish are still there they could still be here so to, that's what today's about i've come back here because this has been so good to me um i just had to come back again to see if the cod are still here i don't care if i catch one or six whatever i catch will be fantastic and it'll keep the show on the road won't it i'd like to thank everyone that subscribed to the channel during these cod videos i hope you stay subscribed when i stop catching coddling um yeah and the comments i've had over 200 comments on some videos i've had 5300 views on on uh, the free cod one the four cod ones at the minutes at 1600 as i stand there on this bank for views so yeah i'd like to thank everyone that's freshly subscribed to the channel probably because of the coddling videos um please stick with me because you don't catch coddling all the time in this country there is a season and they turn up and then they disappear so yeah i will be going to the beaches as well but for the moment, I'm here because it's easy for me and my hip. So yeah, if you see me on a beach, I've slogged it. So yeah, thank you to everyone that subscribed. Um, if you're watching this now and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. If you don't want to subscribe because I've rattled on too much already, then uh, thank you very much for the view. It all helps the channel. Um, the more thumbs up I get, the better. If I, It'd be nice to think that I had five 5,000 views and I had 3,000 thumbs up it would 
push the channel so if you're out there and you want to do something for, for my uh, channel I uh, don't ask I haven't asked for ages and ages so it'd just be nice to see um, if you like this video or you don't like this video give it a thumbs up because it'll just push me algorithm out there on YouTube it'd be nice for the channel to get a bit well more bigger it's just, it's uh, not being vain it's just you look at your channel don't you and you think to yourself it's doing really well I must be doing something right Tom puts a lot of effort in loads of editing um, little jingles and stuff and things in the video some people might not like it but I do he does lots of people do like it you know give us some support give us a thumbs up let's try that eh? 2,000 thumbs up that would be unbelievable wouldn't it but whatever you do for my channel all of you all of my subscribers thank you very much it's all much appreciated I don't do this very often and uh, yeah I'm not gonna wink like people to say thank you very much for that see I'm rabbling on now and just making things worse aren't I but you know I've got all my main veins you know you are um, too many to mention really and if I mention some I don't mention others do I but mainly thank you Andrew for your uh, support Jimmy thank you very much mate um, I expect you'll be going on Aldi soon that must be getting to holdy season time so if you're away, enjoy yourself, mate. And uh, go check out my old mate, Danny Shaw Fishing. He's uh, not been able to get out lately because he's been busy at work. It's been rubbish weather down south. But when he does get out and puts a video together, go check him out. So I'm on the River Amber. I've got my Continental rods. Um, They are the Selly Oxygen Cobra KWs, coupled up with the Penn Spin Fisher 7500 long cast, um, 24 pound line on there. Um, we are fishing squid, black lug. I've got some blow lug in there, but they froze in the fridge so I don't think they'll be any good so worst case scenario with that is I'll just chuck it in the water as a bit of ground bait not that that'll work but that's what I'll do and that'll be gone then it won't be stinking a bit now um, I've got cart squid like I said I've got prawns we're all on frozen bait unless the blow lug that might get case to tackle um, gave me if it's okay I shall be using that as well because in the last session we caught on all blow lug all them cod so I'm not going to ravel on much longer we're going to wait until the water gets in I normally make the mistake of um, more dog muck normally make the mistake of just filming 40 minutes worth of me rabbling on rattling on and then I'm there sat at home watching the video back thinking oh, I shouldn't do that so we ain't doing it that's it this camera's been on for nine minutes. It will be edited down. I'm sorry if it, um, for this length of time. I'm not sorry at all. What am I saying I'm sorry for? I, I don't give a, I don't care. It's my video. Um, <clears throat> some people want to know what rods are and reels and bait. I'm fit, uh, which I've told you. I'm also using a two-up flapper. People know me, that's my favorite rig. And we're also using a pulley panel or a cod rig whichever is my choice but at the minute we've got a pulley panel on there so we're going to fish small baits and big baits or biggish for me not big for them welsh lads and yeah let's hope we catch a cod let's keep it going let's keep the uh, excitement for me at least rolling because it'd be nice to catch another codlin it's just been un unreal unprecedented six sessions i've had on the bounce and i've caught codlin all of them like i say Thank you to everyone that's come along on the journey and uh, yeah share my video out so other people can follow as well next time you see me I'll be casting these out I might have another rattle on in a bit you know what I'm like Norfolk lad gone rattle on high tide today's at about 20 past five I believe so um yeah fingers crossed 
want to keep it going you see it's so much I wouldn't say so much pressure because if I don't catch I don't catch but if I was to allow it there'd be quite a bit of pressure on me to catch another one not as much as if I'd been blanking but you know when you're catching particular fish you want to keep catching them don't you but water's on its way in I'll see you in a minute when I cast them out I'm gonna have a coffee so I'll see you in a bit Not long now, it's coming in, it's coming in, not long. I'm ready, look at that, the water's in. That didn't take long, I've been sat in my box for bloody ages really. But, I put my coat on, got rigged up. What we're gonna do is uh, get casted out. We're in at the point down the bottom here, so I can bring my rod down here if I get a bite early on, and I'll just have to walk all the way down to reel it in, so. I'll get casted out. Yeah, I'll get casted out and I'll just uh, let the bait soak, I think. Probably have another coffee. Um, I've moved my tripod back. I don't like having me baits right close to the edge. I like to have a bit of, so I can walk around. That's why I have my rod rest back at the bay because I don't like to stretch over the wall. Because at 54, you don't like to stretch too much. So let's get this one casted out. I'll put my glove on. Just gonna be a short chuck out. You can see where I'm gonna cast out. I'm literally casting that over there. That's the first one out in the A. So we've got on the first bait, we've got a uh, pulley panel rig. Um, just because they're bloody easy, really, to be honest. You can just uh, get it out, bait it up, hook it together and chuck it. Um, same as a cod rig, really, I suppose, but it's just, uh, it's just something about them. They just seem to be a bit easier to use. Don't need it here, not at all, because it's, uh, few rocks at the bottom but once the tide's in that's not a problem um, yeah I've got a full squid on there and a cart wing so big bait a little clod hopping in a pretty bait it's just a big bait chucked out it's not far out either I've literally chucked it into a hot spot so I'm gonna get this two at flap and they baited up with these worms. They're all dead. They aren't brilliant. So they aren't the best ones, but um, Mike's uh, fridge was on, uh, turned up a bit too high. It was on number seven. So when he put the worms in the fridge, they, uh, they went a bit hard and frozen. So uh, I've took them, I'm gonna use them. Um, they aren't all slushy. So um, I will use them, see what happen, get it on. If I don't have any luck with it, I'll chuck them in, use it for ground bait or whatever you want to call it, just to get rid of them. Um, might chuck them further up here on the mud so the birds might eat them, but I shall give them a go. If they don't work, they don't work. Yeah, if they don't work, they don't work. Yeah, all that excitement in that last video with John when I was fishing with Gus and um, Roscoe and Luna and uh, John and we had all the cod. I think John had five codlin, I had four. Um, it was windy that day as well. It's windy today, but it's not as strong, so hopefully it'll be all right on the camera. It was last time. Uh, yeah, I was meant to be fishing today with Carl again, but um, I wasn't gonna say anything, but it's just not, it don't matter. Um, but yeah, I'd arranged to fish with Carl, but his wife is, uh, she had to go into work, I'm afraid, so. Uh, that put pay to his fishing trip so he's not happy but it's what life is all about into other things get in the way more important things and uh, i'll try and arrange a trip with uh, carl next week or the week after but i've got at least 51 weeks left to arrange a fishing trip with carl so in them 51 weeks i'm sure i'll get to go with him at least once but yeah you will see me fishing with carl and uh 
hopefully we'll have a good time and catch a few fish but what's going to be today but it's not meant to happen so uh, roll on the next time hopefully next week or the week after I shall uh, persevere and get him out with me take him to a different mark because um, Carl's local mark is the river wall so is the wall at Immingham and that and Cleeforts because uh, he's only got a push bike so I want to try and pick him up and take him somewhere different so he can have a bit of breath of fresh air really even if it's this mark that I keep coming to because I like it because at the end of the day you have to go where you need to go don't you thank you to everyone that subscribed to the channel I know I've already said it but I didn't say how many subscribers I've got I've got 4062 at this point in time on the 5th of January yeah 4062 um, these COD videos have really helped me out they've uh, really got some interest in the channel I don't know why because I don't think I'm interesting must just be people that like watching cod being caught fish being caught but hopefully it'll continue if not you'll just have to put up with my rattling on and uh, stay subscribed so yeah 4062 it was a long while coming I'm so pleased I'm there chuffed the bits thank you to all that have done got me there um, yeah I'll keep on soldiering on it is hard in this weather to come out fishing it was a nice it was nice when i first got here but the wind is picking up throughout the night um, i think it's going to be 30 mile an hour winds by the time i'm going home hopefully so hopefully i'll miss the worst of it it's all right it's not too bad it's not as bad as it was when i was with john I always rub this and pull this face don't i look Ugh. I always pull that face when i rub my head so yeah I'll bring you back when I've uh, baited this up and cast this one out. See you in a bit. Boo! So these are the frozen blow lug. And to be honest, yeah, they're not as firm as fresh blow lug but they've been frozen, they've had a hard life but if they stay on the hooks they're alright actually, they ain't no different to uh, frozen black lug really so if they stay on the hooks stayed on the hooks Brilliant, well that's both rods out, um, squid and cart on one, on a panel, and two at flat but with three lug on each hook. That's right Andrew, three lug on each hook. I've got loads of lug, but they're uh, not moving. So it's a shame, but I think they'll be all right. There's still plenty of juice in them, and when you put them on the hook, they don't leak all out everywhere, so it's holding the juice in them enough. It's just whether they're good enough um, for when they hit the water and they stay on the hook so we'll find out but we'll give it a go if it don't work out if it don't work out I've got plenty of other bait and I've also got plenty of black lugs so. but yeah I'll show you the worms they aren't brilliant let's be honest so there's the worms I would touch them with my finger but I'm not going to because I've just cleaned my fingers. I'm going to eat a sandwich in a minute. I don't have to go and wipe them again. I've got no water yet. In a, probably about 10, 15 minutes, I'll be able to go over the side and get some water. So fingers crossed I don't fall in. You know what it's like. So we're uh, all the pressure, eh? I don't think there's much pressure. If I catch a coddling, it'll be fantastic. It'll keep the run going. It'll be seven trips on the trot then. But... If I don't catch this time, I'm sure I'll catch again. Um, I'm going to get a session on the beach. Don't know where to go, but I will, I will go somewhere. It won't be Lincolnshire coast because no point. So, uh, yeah, um, what else is to say? Don't forget to check out Alan's castaways. Alan is uh, the chap that's teaching me to cast only. Again, I haven't been fishing for 30 days. And I ain't even been on the field casting, practicing for 30 days. So I need to 
as soon as there's a nice-ish day with no rain and the field's dry, I shall go to the field and have some more, do some more casting. But I think I'm, I'm not there. You never will be there with a cast, will you? But I am there knowing what I'm supposed to be doing now. So it's just, hopefully I'll go there in the first two, three, four casts. <coughs> will probably be dodgy. And then after that, I should get back into the swing of it. That's what I'm hoping. Um, yeah. What else is it to say? Yeah, I'm, j I'm just want to catch a codling. And I know people all go, oh, I'm not saying what I'm going to catch. It'll... Well, I don't care. I'm going to catch a codling. That's what I'm going to catch. If they're there. If they aren't there, you obviously aren't going to catch it, are you? But whatever's in front of me, I've got to give myself the best chance of catching it. So I would say I'll get a flounder. At least I'll get a flounder. It won't be a blank. Christ, don't even think about it. Bl I haven't blanked since August. Last time I blanked was at Maryport. And that was the wrong tide. That was the only day I could fish. It was down to weather as well. It was, the, it was I didn't fish over high water. I fished it down to low and back up again. And then I had to leave. Because uh can only do so much, can't you? Right. <coughs> I'm gonna, I've uh, got both hand warmers on the go. Got my electric gloves in the bag. I've had them on already. I'm gonna, uh, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna have a sandwich. And then when I've had a sandwich, I'm gonna have a coffee. And then the water will be in. I'll get my bucket of water and hopefully we'll catch some fish. So we'll either catch. This is an awful thing to say, isn't it? But this is Vern. We'll either catch on the uh, flood, or we'll catch on the ebb. And if we don't catch at all, then that'll be a blank. So let's see, fingers crossed. Place your bets. Yeah, it's not too windy. It's supposed to be gusting up to 30 mile an hour later today. But I should be in the van driving them because high tide's a quarter past five. So by quarter past seven, I want to be packing up really. Even though you can fish longer, so I probably will end up fishing longer and then I'll be later on and I've got to get a session of the walk and dead in. Nearly finished it. See you in a bit. Let's hope these worms work. Right, well. The rod on the left, closest to me, um, the line went slack a bit back, so I've tightened it up. You saw me tighten it up, or I tightened it up, anyhow. And it's gone, so I've just gone down to get a bucket of water, and the line's gone slack again. So it's either the weight hasn't gripped, which it should have done because it hit and I let it settle, or we've got a fish on, so uh, let's have a look. Could be weed, I suppose. It's heavy.
Oh, so pretty! What the? Can you see? Is that recording? Huh? Look at that! What a whopper! Right there. So that's from there to there. Right, hang on, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Come on, my little boy. Just quickly measure you. There, that's, that's good. That's close enough. Oh, come on. What a fat lump that is. That's gotta be five pound, five and a half pound. <laughs> Don't believe it. That's a personal best. That's sixty four centimeters. Right, 64 cent, oh, 64 centimetres, and I'm gonna get that back, because that deserves to go back and have babies, because it's fat as anything. So, there you go. Whoa. One big cod, 64 centimetres. It's a cracker, in it? I can't believe that. That's the first cast I've caught my personal best cod. My previous cod was 60 centimetres. That was 64, that's gotta be five pound plus. That was fat as anything, absolutely huge. Two slack lines I had on that. The first one I thought the weights popped out, <sighs> tightened it up, went down to get the bucket of water and saw my line on the floor and I thought, Jesus, wet. 64 centimetres. I'm going to measure it accurately in a minute. I've got this air. Unbelievable. Let's measure it now. So, that was there. Oh, 
56. 64. 64 centimetres. My personal best cut. I didn't think I'd ever catch a codlin as big as the one that I caught two years ago. Oh my lord. First cast, and do you know what I caught it on? Mike, thank you for them worms that you're frozen because they're perfect. Yeah, they're a little bit flimsy, but they go on the hook all right, and I've just caught my personal best codlin. Could that be a cod? Could it be a cod? 64 centimetres, over five pound, I would say that. The one that I caught that was 44 centimetres, that weighed two and a half pounds when I got it um, the one that died that I gutted. Um, yeah, that weighed two and a half pound. Well, that thing, if that was two and a half pound, that's over five pounds. That could be bordering on six pound, six and a bit. So anywhere between five and three quarters to six and a quarter pounds, I would say. Um, up to, oh, and I'm not saying I'd do it on the sand, but when do you ever know me lay my rod down? I couldn't pull it up. Um, when I pulled it into the rocks, it flicked up onto the side and I think it damaged its mouth, but it's just its skin. That'll heal up. That'll just be like another fish bite in it, but I don't think there's any fish out there that'll bite that. I can't believe it. My first fish, first cast, uh, second cast really, sorry, but it was the first cast on that rod, but my second cast out. And I've got a huge great big bait out there for a big cod. And I've just caught a big, as far as I'm concerned, that's a cod. 64 centimetres. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Let's get this. Let's get. I've got another rig. I've got another rig. Leave that on. Leave it on. I didn't take a picture. I didn't take a picture. I'll ask Tom to take a picture of that for me and send it to me. Unbelievable. There's the thumbnail. Personal best cod for Vern. Caught it on the flapper rig. You know what you need to do, Andrew, don't you? <laughs> and I, I spoke, there was a woman walking a dog there, a young girl. You know what young girls are like. I wouldn't say she was young, she's in her 20s. And uh, I said hello or made comment about the cod. She either didn't know I was talking to her or she was just ignorant. Might have thought I was an axe killer with a load of fishing gear, mightn't she? I don't know. But I've caught a cod. Co I've caught a cod. I don't care what you say, that's a cod. Well, you know, sometimes this, this fishing gets boring, you know, it's so... What, what do people struggle for? What, why do people struggle? They don't struggle on this bank, do we? Hey? Oh, oh sugar. Because it's going out next week, this video as well. This is my next video. So it might just get bloody nightmare. Never mind. Enough said about that. I love fishing here at Easington. It's bloody brilliant. I can't believe that. I am shocked. I didn't take a flipping picture, did I? I only had to get my phone out and take a picture, but I'll ask Tom to take a picture off that and send it to me, because he's a good lad. He knows what he's doing. I can't believe it. <laughs> <coughs> oh. 
No, oh, I'm gonna have to calm down. Calm down, I'll get out of breath. I need to go get me an ailer. Jesus Christ, I couldn't even pull it up. I had to lay the rod down. I had to lay the rod down and get and get over there. I just had to pick it up. And then I had it all over me. This is gonna stink. I don't care, I just don't care. You gotta look after them fish. And I put it back, I flopped it in two yards out so I knew there was no rocks there. And he went under and then he came up and I saw his fins along his back stood up out of the water and just the bit of his back out of the water and he just swam off like that and do you know how much joy that gives me that gives me more joy that I've had the pleasure of catching a cod to 64 centimeters my personal best and I've released it and let it go because I'm not rich I'm not rich at all but I've got plenty of fishing gear I can put diesel in my tank and if I want a fish, I'll go to the fish and chip shop. That's what I'll do. Seeing that cod go back, brilliant. I'm hoping that that won't get hooked again and it'll grow to 70 centimeters and get huge, I hope. Certainly got a belly full. Its belly was fat as anything. Can't believe it. I've got to shut this down because this is gonna be like a bloody, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna look like a pansy, innit? So I'll see you in a bit. I am, oh, oh, I am excited though. I, I can't believe it. Can't believe it. Who knows? Hey, I said, I don't care if I catch one or if I catch six. I don't care as long as I catch one. And the first fish I reel in is a cod. Not only is it a cod, it's my personal best. 64 centimeters. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn this off because I'm rattling on and repeating myself. Right. <clears throat> I'm gonna bait that hook up. This is what it took. Look, the other, even though it's manky worm, it's still on there. And this was the one, that's the one that the cod had. Fantastic. Well, I, I hope that makes this video for everyone that's watching this. Um, like I say, it's my personal best. Can't believe it. I've got to turn this off because I'm just gonna keep repeating myself. I'll see you in a bit. I saw this rod bounce and the worms are gone. So. Let's hope there's no crabs in here now. But. If that's the only fish I catch tonight, it'll be a shame, it'll be a shame, but the Norfolk Cod Hunter, or should I say the Norfolk Cod Catcher, well he's just done it again, hasn't he? That went a long way. Right, I shall get this rig baited up, sat on my box. Shame that, because I saw that rod nod a couple of times. 
probably should have struck into it, but I don't really do a lot of that. But, why do people always have to pull the vehicle right in front of your own? I take it he's going fishing, I presume. I don't know. Never mind, I can back. I, I left plenty of room at the back so I can reverse up. He's either walking his dog. He must have a dog because I can't see no fishing gear. Anyhow, that's irrelevant because you can't even see that, can you? I've caught a bloody cod. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, it is a cod. Yeah, shame there weren't one on that reeling then, but I'll get it baited up, ready to go out again. <coughs> Roll on the, bring on the two up flappers. Right, nothing on that, bait still on. Um, it was squid and carp. I need to take that rig off, uh, get another rig out. So I've got it pre-baited up, I've, I've mistaken. So I'm gonna take that off, get it chucked out again, and then reel the worm one in. Bring it back in a bit. Right, we've got, a, we've got a full squid on this, so we'll get this chucked out. I'm not going over there, I'm going to go further out this time with a full squid, just a chuck. I don't feel like I'm fit enough to do any proper casting, and it's dark as well, so let's just get it out and catch us another cod. Scores on the doors are, I've caught a 64 centimetre cod. And that's what I'm claiming it as. I, I don't think I'll ever catch anything bigger. You never know though, you never know. Norfolk cod catcher might just do it again. But yeah, it's, it's gone quiet since that, but that was my second cast and the first reeling on that rod. But not a lot you could do about that. I said at the beginning, didn't I? I said, if I just catch one fish, I'll be happy. But you know what it's like, you catch that one fish and you want to catch more, don't you? I'll bring you back in a bit. I shall get um, another pulley rig or something else, make another bait up and get it ready. Unbelievable.
Well, that's good. Um, that rig's been out a while and that manky worm is still on it, so that's good. I'm chuffed with that. So that's quite good, isn't it? So, uh, it's been out a while, I haven't seen a bite on it, and the bait is still on it, so, whatever stripped the previous flapper rig, when it came in with no worms on it hardly, was either a parson crab or it was fish at it. No, could have been dabs or flounders, couldn't it? It's all right. It's all really bright air. I can't see out behind the lights, and something was making some noises, and it gave me the willies to be honest. But it was me uh, bigaloo flapping in the wind. Right, let's get this out. And then I'll bait that flapper rig up again. Right, but it's all exciting stuff. I've had my best ever fish for a cod, anyhow. Um, personal best, um, but I've had nothing else. It's one of them sessions where it's gone quiet now. It either catches on the flood air or just after the flood to high, and then it won't catch on the ebb or it catches on the ebb. It seems as though it's one of them marks, it's one or the other. But yeah, same as any mark really, isn't it? Mind you, the last session with John, we seemed to catch all the way through. He caught straight away, John did. Then I caught some flounders. And then we caught on the ebb. So we caught on both sides of the tide. So that that statement I've just done is a load of old squit, isn't it? Right, let's get this baited up and then I shall come back to you, hopefully with another fish. We've got to have more than one because I don't want to have my biggest fish ever as a single fish of the session. So uh, yeah, I'll be back in a bit. Bloody wind keeps giving me the willies because the bloody uh, keeps making my bigaloo make a noise and I keep turning around and can't see nothing. Well, it's very quiet at the minute. I'm, I'm, I ain't fussed if I don't, ca I'd like to catch another fish. I ain't fussed if it's a codlin, cod, maybe that'd be quite good, but flounders would be good. 
I just want to catch more than one so it's not a fluke because it's not a fluke when you catch one fish because you've got to get there and go to the mark and get your gear out and get the line in the water, aren't you? So it's it's not a fluke because you've got to be here to, to catch it, aren't you? But I would just like to... I'd like to... I'd like to get another one. Wind's picked up now. Uh, water's still calm, but we'll, we'll wait and see. Just watching someone reverse the van round mine. He lives there. He's pulled in in his parking space. I did. I'm, I'm well out of the way. Anyhow, these rods are stationary. Um, the wind's knocking them. It's hard to tell a bite, but I haven't seen anything go like this. So I'm going to be watching these like an orc. And what I'll do is I can feel a little bit of water, rain. Hopefully, it ain't going to rain. Might just be carried on this wind but the wind is now picking up it did say it would the time is sit rep 17:34 so felt heavy to start with but obviously it was the weight on the bed Right, I've got a full prawn on this. Right, I'm gonna cast this out short. I've never cast it short air, I always whack it as far as I can. But I'm gonna cast this one short and see what happens, because it is quiet tonight. Um, so hopefully we get a second fish, that's what we want, isn't it? What I'll do is I'll get that rig that I've just brought in baited up again. <clears throat> it had a full squid on before. 
I've now baited up and made a bait up with squid and black lug. That's the big bait rod. If I was catching many fish on the flapper rig, I think I'd have two flappers out again. Now those first worms that I put on that rig, on the flapper, were the biggest worms in that pack. The rest are all been small. They're still all right. They don't come off the hook. They ain't blown. They're uh, a bit sloppy, but they um, stay on the line. They don't fly off. So I'm still on with them, but the next flapper rig that I chuck out there will be blacks because Mike and I kindly gave me two or three wraps of uh, black and uh, I shall use them next. Look, I might have only caught one fish, it might have been at the beginning, but it's my personal best cod and uh, the cod that I caught and they both died the biggest one of them was two and a half pound. Well, that was bigger than three pound. I can tell you it's double the size and more of the one that I caught was two and a half pound. Now, I didn't measure it. I didn't weigh it because I've got no scales. It's all about the care for the fish for me. Um, if it had died, I'd have weighed it at home. But it didn't, it returned, it swam off. I'm chuffed a bit. But I can, I'm pretty certain that that's over six pound. I mean, I said at the time when I was all excited, it'd be five and a half, maybe six. But that last cod that I caught two years ago was about six pound, and that cod was bigger. It's longer, and it was huge, fat as anything. So that's a cod as far as I'm concerned. It was a beast. Yeah, a beast. Right, I'll get this rig baited up, take the old squid off, put the new bait on, and get the black lug out ready for the next flapper rig. So I'll see you in a bit. up the rod came up and I thought there's something going on there and there was because we got ourselves get this casted out and then we'll unhook that. I think it's a dab. Could be a flounder. Haven't had a good look at it yet though.
getting May rot. I can't believe there's May rot in June. They've had May rot all year. All summer I had May rot. Leave that for a minute. Right. So I, I had uh, May rot, of all things, on me uh, leader knot, also on the rig. So uh, I've just had to pull it off, but I had to reel it on the spool. So um, you have to pull it off the spool, your line. Um, if you can't pull it off easy and it moves the line, you need to pull it off because it'll line will go over line and it, anything can happen you could lose all your rig and gear so pull it all off pull the weed off and then wind your line back on the reel so i'll turn you off i'm gonna get this dab or flounder unhooked and then i'll give you a show twenty five centimeters Nice little flounder. So, here we go. Is that recording? Yeah. So we've got a flounder. Yeah, so it's two fish. It's not a fluke. I'm really chuffed I've caught this flounder, actually, because it's always nice to catch more than one fish. So I'll get this back, and I'll see you in a minute. Well, I can't remember what size that was, but it'll be on the video. But I was watching that rod, that bloody bigaloo's giving me the willies. Let me just, uh, let me uh, go on there like that, that's it. Out of the wind a bit more. So uh, yeah, I was watching that rod and the rod was under tension and just came up like that. And then it went back down and that was the bite. And that's a flounder bite, often see it. We've had a flounder, so it's personal best cod at 64 centimetres, about five and a half to six pound, easily. It's got to be six pound. Even if I had scales, I probably wouldn't have weighed it because I just like to get them in the water as quick as possible. I did stick them in my bucket head first, his tail was out. At least then he's can, in there, he can get the oxygen out of the water so it's all good I'm right happy anyhow but I know for a fact I'm going on about this again that fish that I took them the two fish one was two pound one ounce and the other was two and a half pound and that you know it's a good fish but it was only 42 something like centimeters I don't know where it was it's caught at Staly and that fish was easily double it was huge the belly on it was like it's like my belly it was like that fat as anything so anyhow that's it we caught a cod the last cod i caught at 60 centimeters that was six pound so yeah anyhow nobody can tell me any different i've caught a cod it's my personal best cod anyhow and i've caught a flounder so i'm chuffed with that it's always nice to catch more than one fish I can't believe it. I'm still really happy about that cod. Do you know what I mean? It was just, I couldn't even pull it up the bank. The rod, It felt as though the rod was going to snap. I had to lay it down and go down and get it. And I was like, Jesus, it's only licked in the corner of its mouth as well. Caught on a flapper rig. Right, I'm going to bait this flapper rig up. Um, I've got two, then I'll have two rigs to toss out again. The time is, quick sit rep on time. 33 minutes past six. So I've got another hour, and then we're two hours past, two and a quarter hours past high water. Um, I'd probably be able to fish another half an hour, but we'll just see how it goes. So the flapper rig is on the right, and the prawn is on the left. 
I've said that for my own benefit. See you in a bit. It's all happening there. It's a little bit of a slow session, but you get them. But I can sit on that box and drink coffee and just think about all sorts of things. So, let's, hey, I'll tell you what we'll do. It's Thursday night. It's nearly, my video's nearly been up 24 hours. Let's see how it's doing. Well, <coughs> Right. In 23 and a half hours, my video, I've got 180 likes. Thank you, everyone. I've got 127 comments in 23 and a half hours. Thank you very much, everyone. And I've uh, got 2,057 views. And I've still got half an hour to go yet. So that, that video where I caught the four, fishing with John and Gus and the two terrorists, is doing absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much for supporting the channel, everybody. See you in a bit. Look at this bastard! Look! <laughs> Look at that! Look at that for a cod! Absolutely! Oh, when he just chucked it out! And it's not the same fish. Oh, that would took some pulling up. Right. Oh, it's windy, that there. Right. Look at that bugger! What a booty! I 
Unbelievable. I just can't believe, is that filming? Look at that. What an absolute booty. We could hold it like that, couldn't we? But I ain't gonna. We're gonna hold it like that and support it. This isn't as fat as me other one. This is not as fat as me other one. I've measured it. Let me take a quick picture and we'll get her back in the water. Right, one last show, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha, what a stonking night. I literally, just cast that out and I couldn't believe the rod was banging I thought it'll be the weight moving but the line had gone all the way down it had swam that way right let's get this measured little tiny flatfish there look See that? Little tiny flatfish come out of its mouth. So it's eating baby flatfish. 60 centimeters that. 60 centimeters. So that hasn't broken my personal best. I thought that was long, longer than the other one, but obviously it isn't. It's, it's equal to the first fish that I ever caught, first codlin I ever caught. So tonight I've had a 64 centimetre codlin, which is a personal best. Is this filming? Yeah, so I've had a 60 centimetre codlin just there, which is my, it was my personal best. And earlier on, on the first cast on the second rod, I had a 64 centimetre codlin and I can't remember what the flounder was, but I've had a flounder. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, I can't believe, I should have that rod out now. You see, I'm talking to you trying to make a video and I'm losing fishing time. Um, I've got another flapper rig baited up. That was on a flapper rig, hooked in its mouth. And I literally just casted that out and it's on Mike's lug worm, which he throws, blow lug. He throws it in his fridge, but it's catching fish. There just haven't been loads of fish around like in the last session that you, on my last video. There was lots of fish then, but tonight there's not so many, but they're a bigger stamp. Absolutely fantastic, isn't it? Well, I better get this rig off and I better get the other flapper on and bring you back for a cast. So I've casted, I've casted that out, walked back to the tripod and when the line stops going out, which there'll be a big bellow of line in the air, put the bail arm on and I leave it for a minute or two, a few seconds sometimes for it to settle and then I take up the slack. Well, I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. I haven't had four codlin, but it's time yet if I'm stopping here for another hour, it's time yet, but it's irrelevant. I've had the two biggest fish this year, 60 centimetre and my personal best at 64. And the flounder, what a champ that was. Deep hooked, plus the hook was twisted through the gills, out, pushed the hook through, put it in the bucket, off it went.
I'm gonna have to have a coffee, I think. Calm down. See, I ain't as excited as the first cod I caught because it's just becoming the norm. I mean, the thing is, I probably might have to blank. I might just have to not put any hooks on my rigs so that I don't keep catching cod because you're going to get fed up, aren't you? I'm not going to get fed up. I shouldn't have said that. I might have jinxed myself. Touch wood, that ain't going to happen because I'll keep the hooks on. Ah, all joking aside, it's good. I'm going to have to bring this prawn in a minute on the left-hand rod and re-chuck out with the squid and black lug. See you in a bit. Give this a chuck out. This is the uh, squid and black lug. Yeah, the prawn, the prawn that was chucked out um, close, not very far, nothing on it. Bloody hand warmers fell over and uh, the right hand side one's gone out, so I will relight that I think. Although it's not cold, it's windy, but the wind is warm. Um, keep moving about with the clothes I've got on I'm fine so uh, yeah hopefully everything will be all right everything will be all right and uh, so we've got squid and black lug on that I've just chucked out I'm gonna bait up the two hook flapper and put the other pulley panel away because all the fish have come on the to work flapper top rig flapper rig on that's only been out a few minutes but um, I've got such good worms on that flapper rig now I want to get it out.
Right. What I'm going to do, I think they're the last two casts out. So um, the tide is going now. Time is sit rep. Quarter past seven. Now that's two hours after. Probably got another half an hour before I run out of water. Maybe three quarters of an hour. So we'll have these out for 10, 15 minutes and then we'll wrap it up. But what a night it's been. I thought it was going to be slow. It was a bit slow. I thought it was going to be really hard work, but it turned out okay. And yeah, I've had the two biggest fish. Well, two biggest fish I've ever caught because I've caught two now at 60 and one at 64. Potentially, I could have two more cod before the end of the night. Let's keep your fingers crossed. Right, let's get this reeled in. Water's really dropping now, so I've got plenty of time, but let's get this reeled in this one. So I've just got one to concentrate on. Well, there's still worm on it, but I've got loads of, uh, and believe it or not, it is May rot. Well, I pulled that in just in time, really, because to the right of me, you can start to see the rocks now. So this next one should come in over the water. So nothing on that. Nothing on that. Uh, wind keeps dropping occasionally, but then it picks up again. So yeah, nothing on that. The blow luggage. Um, not feared as well as the the black lug hadn't had feared feared had didn't the black lug didn't do as well as the blow lug we got there in the end so I'll put this rig away give it a quick rinse and uh, yeah we'll monitor that rod now I thought this right hand rod was bouncing and I left it and left it because I thought there's two hooks on there we'll have something but all the bait was pulled off the bloody hooks and I don't understand why because I put blow log on at the end of it after I put the black lug up and the blow lug hadn't been coming off so perhaps someone had had a go at it I don't know 
much we'll have to wait and see, won't we? Let's get round here. This bloody wind. <coughs> <coughs> oh dear. Yeah, sorry, I'm in my shelter, aren't I? Ooh. So I've got one rod left out. It's been a cracking session, really. It's been very quiet at times, but the stamp of fish has just been fantastic, hasn't it? You know. And even though you're not here, I feel as though, because I'm talking to you at the camera, you know, it feels like the camera is all of you lot that are watching all of you lot, all my subscribers, and potential subscribers that watch and don't click on it. So yeah, it's all good, isn't it? I feel as though you're with me while I'm talking to you. And uh, yeah, I'm now looking at the rod that I've just pulled in and there's nothing on it. And I'm watching it thinking, oh, it's moving. So, uh, now all in all, what's it been? Well, I've still got a chance of one more fish, um, but it's been great, hasn't it, really? Like, I'm still looking at that rod. What is it about rods? They can be not in the water, just sat on your tripod and you watch them, don't you? Thing is, I've got one rod in the water and one that isn't, and I'm watching the one that isn't, because it's moving about more than the other one, because it's under tension. So that's something I learnt. With your rod and line in the water, your, your rod is more stable than just a rod sat in your rod rest. So I'll get that put away now. I'll put my reel away. I'll put that rod away and put it on there. And uh, yeah, I expect next time you see me, I'll be bringing that last rod in. We'll wrap this up, but yeah, what a night. I've never caught two large cod like that before um i think that second one at 60 centimeters that was over five pound gotta be over five pound the other one when i held that one i thought christ this is heavy the other one was heavier um the belly on the first cod was massive it must have been hoovering the bloody floor up but they're out there getting little tiny small fish. Um, that was really long and slim. It could have been a bloody baby soul or something, I don't know. Certainly weren't a small dab, wrong shape. It was the right shape to be a soul. So perhaps there's all the baby fry out there and whatever, and they're just hoovering it up. The good thing is both fish went back, swam off. So it's really good, including the flounder. But yeah, what a two cracking fish. I am on fire. Absolutely on fire. I was really worried. I was really, really worried. Not just really worried. I was really, really, really worried that because I'd had 30 days where I hadn't been fishing and I was working, I'd missed the boat with a cod. I thought that they might have gone or they might be thin on the ground. I might catch one next week or the next session, but not this session. But I've come here and I put it to the back of my mind and just fished and thank you, Mike, for the worms. Not the best, but they've done the job. Absolutely brilliant. So yeah, they froze in the fridge. They were hard, you could hit them. But they thought out all right. And yeah, they're a little bit mushy, but the skins are all right and everything and they held together. And when I've reeled it back in, they've still been on the hooks just as bad, just the same as what they were when I put them on. Um, oh, it's just bloody brilliant. So yeah, I was worried I weren't gonna catch. I thought me cod videos would come to an end. And there we are, a crescendo of, of, of happiness of catching the two largest cod I've caught ever, ever. I think that first one on reflection now was six pound. Everyone told me my first cod I caught two years ago was about six pound. Because it was the length, it was up my arm. It's the only way I could measure it. Because um, I was on the wall down at Staly. But those, that first one was, was heavy. It was huge. It was so fat. And uh, yeah, all right, tonight. Oh, what, what's the thing? Tonight, Matthew, I caught a cod. <laughs>
you remember that, stars in their eyes? Tonight, Matthew, I'm gonna be Ken Dodd. Now, now tonight, Matthew, I caught a cod. Yeah, I think I've caught two. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Two stonkers. Now I just need one double figures, don't I? Mind you, eight pound would be quite good. Yeah, I don't weigh the fish. I should get some scales, but then you've got to put it into a bag. You've got bags got to be wet to weigh it because people that stick the bloody scales in their gills and hang it on it, I won't. How would you like it if someone stuck a set of scales in your hair and picked you up off the ground? You'd be screaming, wouldn't you? Or underneath there, you'd be screaming your head off. So uh, yeah, I don't like doing it. I don't see the point in doing it. I know I've caught two good fish tonight, um, proper cod, and they were a good size and they were heavy. See you in a bit when I reel this rod in. Look at this. Look at this there, see that? Bloody weed, flipping May rot. It's like bloody, well that ain't May rot. The other stuff is, it's like felt actually got that one off yeah I'll take that off in the garage I think well absolutely unbelievable I'm chuffed with today it's been a good session is that can't record yeah yeah well what a session it's been What a session it's been. It's been absolutely fantastic. Let's turn that down a touch. It's been absolutely fantastic. I, today, have caught the two biggest cod that I've ever caught. I've also caught a flounder. Um, they were up to six pound. The first one definitely was maybe a touch over. The, the other one might have been a little bit less but it still could have been six pound. I've got no scales, I've got no proof. 60 centimetres and 64 centimetres. It's good. I'm chuffed to bits. Um, so I came here a bit apprehensive, thinking that I weren't going to catch, thinking that the cod run was going to dry up and it would vanish. But here I am still delivering the goods for you lot. And I'm so pleased. I was meant to be here today with Carl, it would have been so good to fish with Carl, but we'll do it another time. You know, it's two times now we've failed to get together. 
but we will do it. We will soldier through and do it. You know, life sometimes gets in the way of fishing. And if you're in the predicament where you can say, right, I'm going early in the morning and stuff, and you can get it done and be home and whatever, and that's good, isn't it? But when you try and arrange it and you catch a nighttime tide, it's, there's always things that have got to be sorted out. And sometimes it don't work, sometimes it does. But we will make it work, Carl. Um, I will come and get you. We will fish somewhere different. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can share the cod. But I'm not having you coming if you're going to catch all the cod and I blank. So that's just, that's just not on, is it? But I don't think that'll happen because um, it seems as though this Norfolk lad is catching cod. And uh, yeah, Norfolk cod catcher. Mm, I think I'll stick with Vern Sea fishing, but it's it's good to have occasionally. Into my flipping hand warmer's gone out again. Um, but you don't need to know that, do you? So this has been fishing on the River Humber, and what can I say? Two cod caught. It's been absolutely fantastic. Floundered as a bonus fish. I enjoy catching them. They're great. And that's it. I'm going to pack all this away and then it's the long walk to the van and uh, yeah I've got another sandwich to eat on the way home and just reflect on the session really because it's it's it put a personal best haven't it and that don't happen very often so thanks for watching um, thanks for the support to the channel don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to subscribe but you got this far anyhow well, get yourself a good talking to. But if you don't, thank you for the view. And uh, yeah, this has been Vern on the River Humber catching the biggest cod of his life. And hopefully, because I never thought it would happen, there'll be a bigger one round the corner. You never know. This could be the year, couldn't it? So I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you and on. What's up, Watty? What the? Can you see it? Is that recording? Huh?